This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Hi, I'm Eric Weaver. I'm the Irrigation Supervisor for Designscape Horticultural Services in Nashville, Indiana. Today I'm going to tell you about how to adjust your irrigation controller. Over the course of the season, it may become necessary to increase or decrease the amount of time that your sprinklers are running. If you're wanting to increase the amount of time for all of the sprinklers, Simply turn the dial to seasonal adjustment percentage and increase it or decrease it and turn it back to auto. That will increase the amount of runtime for every zone by that percentage. If you want to run a specific zone or many zones for longer, simply turn it to the valve number that you want to select, increase or decrease it, turn it back to auto. If you want to run it more frequently, sometimes it becomes necessary to run it instead of three days a week, maybe four or even five days a week. Turn the dial to select days to water, select which day you would like to water, and push on or off to select that day to turn off and turn it back to auto. If you would like to start a manual cycle that will run through all of the zones, if you come home and you see that the grass is turning brown and you want to water all of the zones, without moving the dial position, simply hit the manual start button. It'll start a cycle that'll run through all of the zones for their runtime and then it will resume watering on its scheduled program. I've shown you today how to adjust your Rainbird ESP controller. If you have a different controller, it might look a little different, but the dials and buttons will be very similar. Again, I'm Eric Weaver with Designscape Horticultural Services in Nashville, Indiana. Until next time.